Australia is fighting an invasion of 100 millions of cane toads. Now even a nature conservation organization has called on people to go out, collect and eliminate these toads. How absurd is that? But for the whole story to unfold, we have to travel back in time a bit. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and please activate the notification bell to stay updated. The origin story of the rise of the cane toad dates back to 1935. Australia struggled with the so-called cane beetle, which was ravaging the country's sugarcane crops. As an attempt to control the spreading and troublesome beetles, Australia came up with a plan. Sailors brought the cane toad from Hawaii, hoping it would feed on and reduce the cane beetle population. Long story short, it did not stop the beetle. But even worse, the toads spread across the continent and became invasive themselves, conquering Australia. Cane toads have an insane reproduction rate. One female alone can lay up to 35,000 eggs more than once a year. Ten weeks later an egg has led to a new toad. The problem, a lot of native species were quickly endangered because of the cane toad. The omnivorous toads feed on anything from bird eggs onto other native amphibians. The cane toad itself, however, is not on the menu of a lot of other predators. Why? Cane toads have large glands that, when in danger, are capable to secrete poison, so toxic that local predators such as mammals, snakes or other reptilians and even pets that tried eating the invasive toad eventually died from the toad's toxin. So the toads are a problem for anything the toads are feeding on? and for anything that is trying to feed on the toads. In an annual event named the Great Cane Toad Bust, people are called on to kill the invasive toads. According to Watergum, the natural conservation organization behind the program, the most humane method doing so is collecting the cane toads with gloves on, placing them into the refrigerator for 24 to 48 hours to put them in hibernation and subsequently transferring them into the freezer for another 24 to 48 hours to euthanize them. Today Australia is facing an estimated number of 200 million cane toads. So good luck mates. Make sure to check out this exciting video here and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Thanks for watching.